Well, hey guys, what's going on? Wow, long time no see. Welcome back to the channel. Um, I guess since this has probably been my longest gap between videos since I started the channel, I'm gonna go ahead and give you my routine excuse. I have gone back to school. So being a full-time student for a very complex trade has demanded a great deal of my attention. And it's a seven day a week schedule and it's a very accelerated program. So it is, you know, there's just no time between to even breathe before the next thing is up. You know, no matter what the big accomplishment or big test you may pass, the very next five minutes you're on to the next. So uh, it's just been uh, very, very exciting and it's, it's a great adventure and it's uh, gonna be the next career move for me. And um, not to keep you in suspense any longer, I'm actually going to flight school to become a pilot. So it is, uh, been a, a, again, just taking a lot of my time and I love it, but it's just uh, prohibited me from being able to be as interactive with you guys as I typically like. But I'm squeezing this one in. Uh, this is one that I've wanted to do for a while. So I thought, all right, let's just do a grandiose, uh, much anticipated video after a long delay. So uh, here we go, let's get into it. In today's video, I went ahead and actually filmed me working out with some of these exercises and doing some commentary over. So you can see that I, I'm not just blowing smoke and saying I do these exercises, I actually do them. All the exercises I do that I've demonstrated are all my foundation exercises for back day. They're all my favorites. They're ones I've been doing forever and they all, I will continue to do them and they've never caused an injury for me despite my um, scoliosis. Now, at this point, if you guys do not know, I have what is considered moderate scoliosis. My curvature exceeds 30 degrees. So this is not something where I'm coming in here with just a tiny like five degree curve and showing you, no, I, I have legit scoliosis and I wanted to really show you guys and as usual motivate you to not be afraid to exercise, bodybuild, develop muscle, what have you. And what most of you would consider the most dangerous part because where's the spine? The back. So this one has been my one of my favorite particular exercise days for as long as I've been lifting. It's, uh, I guess the reason has the two big things as I've told you in many videos. One, building muscle on your back helps mask whatever deformities may be seen from the curvature. And two, a stronger back is a more supportive back. If you have good muscle development, you are able to feel more confident that your spine is supported and through that you may be able to keep it from getting any worse. So with that said, back pain should never be avoided. The whole point for any of you out there is that it must be catered to depending on where your curves are, how severe your condition is, and what you're comfortable with and what, what, what is actually comfortable to your back. So I just, again, disclaimer as always, I am not Dr. Connor, professor of scoliosis. I'm Connor, I have scoliosis, I body build, and I work around it, and I try to show you guys that it is truly possible, and you shouldn't really be afraid. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get these exercises, and I'm gonna finish up with some that I left off that aren't as important, and um, yeah, let's do it. All right, so we're gonna kick this thing off with a warm up. Uh, this one is a lower back hanging raise, kind of like a broader range of motion Superman, if you will. Uh, I like to start out with this first and foremost. Uh, for any of you who have lower scoliosis in your lumbar, this is a really good way to get your lower back stretched out, get the uh, discs all a little loosened up a little bit, and just get it warmed up and uh, get that mind-muscle connection. So if you are doing anything with the lower back today, this is a really good way to get things kicked off. So next, uh, for our warm-up, we're going to jump into, uh, I, just like, uh, I just like to hang, to be perfectly honest. There's no real name for this. I like to start hanging from my arms at the top for the, uh, any curve in the upper back. And then as you'll see, I'll switch to a dip position and hang for my lower back. But the key to this is to just let yourself relax. Your back muscles, your core, and just try to really elongate your spine and let it just decompress and get a little breathing room in your discs. Um, the technical name for this is the scroth method or kind of a little taste of it, if you will. But this is something that just helps me really get the back stretched out, elongated, and uh, decompressed before the workout. All right, so next, uh, this is something new that I've added recently into the warm-ups. Uh, I just kind of saw it online and, and it, uh, it feels pretty good. Uh, this is just a pelvic tilt, pretty basic. Just another way to really get that lower back stretched out and get a little bit of uh, movement where the spine meets the, uh, the pelvis and the hips. 
And uh, it, it's nothing really crazy, just a little way to, again, get the lower part of your core warmed up and just get mind-muscle connection to various parts of the back before you start exercising. Next, we're rolling into the, uh, this is called cat pose, which uh, is kind of the best way to stretch the traps because there's a very limited range of motion for this particular muscle group. So uh, this is a really good way to just get a good stretch for the traps um, and again, get a nice engagement. Uh, that's pretty much all it is. It's going back from strong engagement to um, full stretch and it's the best way to stretch out uh, these muscles that have limited range of motion. Now, the ones that you're gonna wanna stretch after this will be the lats. And finally, we'll be stretching out the lats. This is the most important thing. Um, you, with this, you can stretch it off of um, hanging, like you did, like I did before, or I like this because I can also engage all the way down to the core, since technically your latissimus dorsi go almost all the way down to your lower back. So get a good stretch all the way from the arm, all the way through the core. And those are the most important muscles to really, really stretch out before you do any kind of pull-ups, pull-downs, or any uh, lat workout exercises. All right, so let's get into the actual workout. We're going to start out with a row. Obviously, the foundation of almost any back workout other than a pull-up is the row. Uh, this one is uh, uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, this cable row that is connected. Uh, so I'm going to have other variations for you guys that will be disconnected, but the, if this has causes no discomfort and you can have a connected feel between your arms, this is just a really good exercise. You want to get a good stretch there. Um, if you want to wear a belt, if you have a strain in your lower back, but it really, if, as long as you don't go too heavy, this shouldn't really cause any issues, but this is one of the most basic of all the back workouts. All right, now sticking to foundations, we will get into the lat pull down. Again, cables are one of my favorites, so if you're not afraid of cables, these are two great exercises for back day. Uh, you really just want to get that good squeeze. Uh, the sensation I go for is if I, as if I'm putting my elbows in my back pockets, bring it all the way down to your chest, and just get that really good stretch. Now, the most important thing I wanted to show in this video for you guys is just variations of connected workouts. Now, these are referred to as unilateral exercises where you, can, you won't have connection of both muscles at the same time as if it's connected by the bar. This is a great example of uh, lat pull downs if it causes any discomfort to have it connected. So if you have uneven shoulders or severe curve up top, this is a really good way to make sure you can hit both lats and get equal mind muscle connection, but not have any issues if you find imbalances when they're connected with the bar, such as on the cable. So this is a great machine. It's in most gyms. I would not avoid this at all. Last but not least is one of my favorites for a good stretch. This never puts any strain on my back because in a way it's actually kind of stretching your, your back out a little bit. So this one is phenomenal to finish off the lats. It will really help with that flare and get that dividing line right before the side abs, like such as the serratus and obliques. Uh, if you really get a good stretch on it, it feels phenomenal and you know you're just hitting the lats. It takes biceps out of it and everything. This, this isn't something that is overlooked by a lot of people, but it is a phenomenal exercise for the lats and again puts really no strain on your actual spine during the exercise. All right, so here now we're going to get into some more of the controversial exercises. Uh, this is a single arm dumbbell row, which you just want to get yourself in a nice neutral position over the bench and again unilateral exercise so it allows you to hit one side of your traps or the other. Uh, again, this is an exercise that is with severe certain cases would probably put a strain on the back, but as again, Disclaimer, these are all exercises that don't bother me, and I just wanted to demonstrate my routine and my usual exercises for a back day. Now, if we go on to the other side of things for the row, this is, I believe this machine is catered for scoliosis. Uh, if you And this is in most gyms, so if you haven't, do not avoid this machine. This is a great way to uh, support yourself. It has the pads, so you don't actually have to strain your lower back to support the weight. Uh, you can do them together or separate. If you want them disconnected, it still can be a unilateral exercise. This one is phenomenal for rowing if you have any kind of imbalances with your spine. So this is pretty much one of my favorite machines in the gym uh, for that purpose. Now, lastly, we're gonna finish off with probably the most controversial of all, but again, these are exercises I do, I enjoy, I have find no issues with, no discomfort, and have actually never been injured doing. This one is, again, gonna put a lot of weight on your back in various ways, various areas, but I love the T-bar row. It really makes me feel like I can actually get the most bang for the buck for building and put the most weight on. I'll wear a belt if I start getting heavy, but uh, this exercise is great for the traps. And again, as long just give it a try. If it feels good, give it a shot. Okay, so there you have it. There's me doing all the extra, uh, the ones that are in, it, at least 90% of those are in every single back day routine for me. I throw in some other things, some other variations. As I mentioned, you can do pull downs with divided cables. Uh, you can do with wide grip, it's really good. Uh, there's different ways to row unilaterally. 
The biggest thing I wanted to show you guys is the importance of unilateral exercises. If you have imbalances that cause your shoulders to be uneven or you have any twisting or anything that if you're working with equipment or a bar that is connected that just isn't allow you to feel balanced, disconnect them. There's so many machines and variations and dumbbells and cables that allow you to, you know, if that's something that gets in your way, break it apart and, and work out with yourself more balanced and everything separate and see how you feel. You might just be like, wow, this was the key to the whole thing. It has been for me. I do unilateral exercises almost predominantly, unless they're one of the foundation exercises such as squats, deadlifts, and bench and stuff because for me, I, I feel like I can actually hit things equally, get a good mind-muscle connection and not let anything that, any posture or anything that I may have that forces me a certain way to hold me back. Now with that said, uh, as always, there's our exercises that I just can't do and that's, I wanted to make sure I prefaced that because I don't want you guys to think I'm in here able to do everything under the sun. For example, the T-bar row was my, was my go-to because the barbell row, which is a classic exercise where you row the, the bar, underhand, overhand, what have you, I just can't do that comfortably, so I don't. So the whole point of this video was to show you guys there's varieties of things out there that can, that, you know, there's so many different types of exercises that don't be afraid if something hurts your back that there's not going to be another solution that won't or do any harm to you for that matter. But there are going to be some that will, so don't do them. You know, it, the whole point about this and the whole key to this motivation is find what works for you, get in the gym, start low, start small, proper stretching, proper care for yourself, and don't push the limits past what you're comfortable with or what you know you should be doing. But at the end, you're still in the gym, you're still working out, you're still developing what you want, whether it be losing weight, gaining weight, building muscle, cutting, what have you. You're still doing what you might have thought could not be done. And that's just what I want you guys to be able to do. That's the whole point of Conquer Fitness, is to conquer this whole thing that you have going on. Whether it be your underweight, whether it be, you know, you have scoliosis and you feel like it's just gonna hold you back from even stepping foot in the gym. Well, as you saw, you could actually even work your back out if you really do it right. Thank you all so much for watching. I wanted to go ahead and put the disclaimer at the beginning about my new schedule just so people didn't get upset if the videos have long breaks between. But I will do my best to make sure I don't forget about you guys. You've been in the back of my mind no matter what. So uh, please subscribe and I will see you all next video.